Hello everyone, this is Teacher Rodrigo and this is the video class for this week, okay? Today we are going to study with 9th grade the English class phase 3, week 3, okay? This is the video English class for 9th grade English phase 3, week 3. The topic that we are studying this week is this one, childhood memories. The topic that we're studying this week is childhood memories. This is our topic for this week, okay? So we will discuss what we did when we were little kids, yes? What we did when we were little kids? We were talking about our childhood, yes? Our childhood. This is a child, this is a child, a child, a child, yes? We were all children at some point of our lives, yes? In the past. For example, uh, remember that your father was a child, you were a child a few years ago, I was a child too, yes? We were all children in our past, yes? Uh, children is a little kid, yes? Childhood is the period during a person is a child. A child, a child, a child, a child. Niño o niña, yes? A child, a child, yes? And childhood, la niñez, the period when you were a little kid, yes? So, let me ask you, what did you do when you were little kids, yes? What did you do when you were little kids? Do you remember what you did when you were little kids? Okay? ¿Recuerdas a sus amigos y amigas de infancia? Remember your friends in childhood, yes, childhood. Escribe sus nombres y el lugar donde los conociste. Sigue o observa el ejemplo. Yes, this is the first part. This is the first activity. Escribe sus nombres y el lugar donde los conociste. To your friends in the childhood. Let's see the example. Let's see the example. I had many friends when I was a child. I had many friends when I was a child. My friends Patty, Reina, Astrid, and Carlos. I met them in our neighborhood. My friend Mayela, her mother, was my father's co-worker and we lived in the same neighborhood. Attention here. Have, was, met, was, lived. Okay? All these are verbs in the past. So, some verbos in the past. Yes? And we, what we are doing here is to write. Lo que hacemos ahorita es escribir. Escribir qué? Write the names, los nombres y el lugar donde los conociste. Donde conociste quién? Your friends. Your friends from the childhood. Okay? So, for example, I had many friends when I was a child. My friends, Ricardo, Manuel... And Carlos, I met them in the neighborhood, okay? My friend Mayela, her mother was my father's co-worker, and we lived in the same neighborhood, yes? Attention to this part. You're going to have to write, vas a tener que escribir, using this example, utilizando ese ejemplo, about your friends from the childhood, yes? De tus amigos de la infancia, about your friends from the childhood. But if you see, I highlighted some expressions. Resalta algunas palabras. Had, was, met, was, and lived. All these are words in the past. All these are verbs in the past. Son verbos en pasado, yes? All these are verbs in the past. Let's see more, uh, clo uh, let's have a more close look at this in the following chart. Yes? We have have, meet, am, is, are, and live. This is the verb in the present, okay? These are the verbs in the present. But today we will, we will study the past, okay? Today we will study the past. For example, have, met, was, or were, lived, yes? Had, met, was, were, lived, okay? For example, I had many friends when I was a kid. I met my friends in the church, for example. My friend Manuel was in the church too. We lived in the same neighborhood. Yes? Lived. Okay? We use those words. Utilizamos esas palabras que ya vimos here to talk about our friends in the past. Okay? So you write a paragraph, escribe un párrafo, similar to this one, yes, about your friends, the tus amigos, that you have in the past. You can use this as an example, puedes usar este un ejemplo, and you can use these words, estas palabras, 
to help you do it, okay? You can use these verbs to help you do it. Now, now that you have finished the paragraph, cuando termines ese paragrafo, now that you have finished the paragraph, let's go to the next activity, okay? Presentation. Para hablar sobre nuestros recuerdos de la infancia, necesitamos dos puntos claves en inglés, vocabulario y gramática. A continuación, te presentamos los juegos más comunes de la infancia y el punto gramatical para estudiar esta semana. So, these ones in the pictures are the childhood games. Games, yes? The childhood games. These are the childhood games. Okay? Childhood games. These are childhood games. Okay? Childhood games. Listen and repeat. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Tag. Tag. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. Hand clap games. Hand clap games. Hand clap games. Marbles. 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 Jump rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. Okay? This is the vocabulary about childhood games. Hide and seek. Tag. Hopscotch. Hand clap games. Marbles. And jump rope. Okay, these are the games that we play when we were little kids. These are the games that we played in our childhood. Okay, now let's go to the grammar point. Attention here. You have uh, some verbs, yes? Verbos. In English, you have some verbs here in English. Okay, these are regular verbs, verbos regulares. And these are irregular verbs, verbos irregulares. What's the difference? La diferencia. Here, la diferencia is here. Attention. Regular verbs in the past, en el pasado, look, todos terminan en ed, yes? Regular verbs in the past, they all finish in ed, ed, okay? The regular verbs in the past, they all finish in ed. Los verbos regulares en el pasado siempre terminan en ed, ¿ok? Sin importar cuál sea el verbo regular, in the past, they finish in ed, ¿yes? Aquí, here we have some examples. Visit, visited. Play, played. Live, lived. Love, loved. Like, liked. Hate, hated. A jump, jumped, ¿ok? These are regular verbs, verbos regulares. In the past, en el pasado, they all finish in ed. Todos terminan en ed. Yes? Those are the regular verbs. Now, the irregular verbs, irregular verbs, los verbos irregulares, in the past, ¿sí? here, they don't always finish in ed. They have different endings, ¿ok? No todos terminan en ED como los anteriores. They have different endings. Tienen diferentes finalizaciones o different ways they are written. Ok, o son escritos en diferentes maneras. See, for example, this one. Eat, ate. Drink, drunk. Go, went. Break, broke. Buy, bought. Have, had. We're missing this one. Am, um, is, was. Are, where. Yes? These are irregular verbs. Verbos irregulares. In the past. En el pasado. They all finish in different forms. Or they are written differently than their base form. Okay? Terminan con diferentes letras. And son escritos de manera diferente que su forma base. Yes? Aquellos todos terminaban en ed. Yes? Todos los regular verbs en los que vimos antes, los regular, todos terminaban en ed. But, the irregular, pero los irregulares, they have different ways they are written. They are written differently. Son escriben de forma diferente. ¿Ok? The only way to know the difference is to memorize. La única manera de hacer esto bien es memorizándolo. ¿Ok? You can know the meaning of these verbs, el significado. Look for the meaning of these verbs uh, by looking in a dictionary or in Google Translate. ¿Ok? You can look for the meaning in Spanish of these verbs 
en Google Translate, ¿ok? O en el dictionary. Puedes buscar el significado de estos verbos en, en Google Translate o en el dictionary, ¿ok? Now, attention here. How do I write in past? ¿Cómo escribo en el pasado? Ok, here. You have some example de cómo escribir en el pasado. The pronoun, the verb, ¿ok? The verb, ya sea en affirmative o en negative. Vamos a ver eso después, ¿sí? Yes? Let's see that later. But first, let's focus here. Examples. I played, played, yes, played marbles, 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 here are marbles, yes, marbles, with my friends. I played marbles with my friends. That sentence is in the past. Esa oración está en el pasado. That sentence is in the past. Yes, another example, another example. They visited the park after class. They visited, visited the park after class. That sentence is in past, está en pasado. Why? Porque tiene regular ending, tiene regular verb in the past, un verbo regular en el pasado. The same here, I played. That sentence is in past because it has a regular verb in the past, yes? Next, I ate, I ate nacho chips. With lime juice. I ate nacho chips with lime juice. This sentence is in past. In past. In past. Here, ate. In past. It's an irregular verb in the past. Es un verbo irregular en el pasado. Ate. I ate nacho chips with lime and juice. We broke. We broke a window at school. We broke, broke, broke. That's an irregular verb in the past. Yes, broke. My sister was a good student. My sister was a good student. Yes, was. My sister was a good student. It's an irregular verb in the past. Was okay, so all these sentences, todas estas oraciones, all the sentences are written in the past. Yes, so these are examples. Let's see some more examples of that. Let's see some more examples of that. I played jump rope. I played jump rope. Salta cuerdas. I played jump rope. Played is a verb, it's a verb in the past. Yes. It's a regular, a regular verb in the past. How about this one? I played with dolls. Also, it's a regular verb in the past. I played, past, okay? I liked, I liked, I liked Ben 10 or Ben 10, yes? I liked Ben 10, liked. It's a regular verb, a regular, regular verb in the past. Remember, todos los verbos regulares, all the regular verbs, they finish in ed, 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 ed. Todos los regular verbs in English in the past, they finish in ed. Next example. I visited my grandpa's house in Garita Beach. I visited my grandpa's house in Garita Beach. Visited is a regular verb in the past, okay? It's regular because it finishes in ed. Now, this one is different. My sister was in the USA. Regular or irregular? Was it regular or irregular? Was is irregular. Irregular, yes? It's an irregular verb in the past. Why do we say that it's an irregular verb? It's irregular because it doesn't finish in ed. No termina en ed como los regulares, yes? The regulars, los regulares, they finish in ed. But the irregulars, los irregulares, they don't, okay? They don't termine in ed. They are written in different forms, escriben en forma diferente. Now, let's practice, okay? Let's practice. Esto que estamos viendo ahorita, nada más son examples, okay? Estos examples que estoy enseñando en este precisely moment, en este precise moment, estos no son para escribirlos en el cuadro, nada más son para que usted los entienda, yes? I need you to understand. Así como hacíamos ejemplos in the school, now we're doing examples here to understand better, para que entendamos mejor, yes? Let's see here. I, space, blank, with trompo. 
Remember, estamos hablando de verbs in the past. ¿Qué verbo puede ir aquí? El verbo played. Ahora, ¿cómo se pone in the past? I played. ¿Ok? Es un verbo regular. Regular in English. In the past. I played with Trumpel. My father. My father. Y tenemos like. Doce corazones. Yes. Remember. Es un verbo regular. Regular verb. In the past. En el pasado. Debe terminar con ed. My father liked. Doce corazones. Yes. My family. Go. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? ¿Cuál es la forma regular de go? Ok. De irregular verb. El verbo irregular. Go. En pasado. En past. Se escribe. Went. Yes. Went. So, my family went to los chorros. Yes, my family went to los chorros. Ok, those are just examples. Estos nada más son ejemplos. Ahora sí viene lo que vamos a hacer en el cuaderno. This is what we're going to do in the notebook. Yes, in the notebook. Practice. Completa las siguientes oraciones con la forma pasada. Completa las siguientes oraciones con la forma pasada. Del verbo en paréntesis, ¿ok? Del verbo en paréntesis. Let's see. Here is the verb in paréntesis. Aquí está el verbo en paréntesis. Yes. And here is the blank. Aquí está el espacio en blanco. So, I, have, I will have to write, tengo que escribir, the correct form of the verb in paréntesis in the past. Remember, in the past, en pasado. My friends and I, ¿ok? Soccer yesterday. How do I say play in the past? Play in the past? My friends and I played soccer yesterday. Lo mismo, the same in number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Okay? Now, attention here. Number five. Attention here in number five. See? She, blank, espacio, not jump, Okay? Now we're talking about negatives. Yes? Not jump. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que íbamos a volver a esto? Ok, here we are. Aquí estamos. Now, in affirmative, afirmativo, we just write the verb. Solo escribimos el verbo. Yes? In affirmative, we just write the verb. For example, I played soccer. You played soccer. He played soccer. She played soccer. We played soccer. You played soccer. They played soccer. Okay. Uh, I jumped the rope. Yo saltaba la cuerda. I romped the job. You jumped the rope. He jumped the rope. We jumped the rope. They jumped the rope. You jumped the rope. She jumped the rope. Yes. And it's affirmative. It's affirmative. Yes. Now, it negative, negativo, negative is to say no, okay? Negative is to say no. For example, imagine that uh, when I was a child, I didn't uh, jump the rope, okay? Nunca saltaba la cuerda, digamos, cuando yo era niño, yes? I never jumped the rope. ¿Cómo lo digo en English? I didn't jump, yes? I didn't jump. Attention here. En affirmative, jumped. I jumped. Pero negative, I didn't jump. Attention here. This expression, didn't, is a contraction for did not. Yes? La difference es que hemos borrado esta O y solo pusimos apostrophe. Yes? Y ya nos queda didn't. Mira, borramos la O y nos queda nada más didn't. Ok? So, I didn't play soccer. Yo nunca jugué soccer. O no jugaba soccer in school. I didn't eat uh, churros at school. I didn't eat uh, chicken in the school. I didn't jump the rope. Nunca salté la cuerda o no saltaba la cuerda. I didn't jump. I didn't like... I didn't like Dragon Ball Super, for example. Yes? I didn't. I didn't, 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 didn't. Also, you can use any of these. For example, they didn't like Dragon Ball Super. You didn't like Trumpo. 
we didn't play soccer, she didn't jump the romp, you didn't eat the lunch, didn't, didn't, didn't. That is a negative contraction to say no, to say that you did not do something, para decir que no hiciste algo, yes? For example, here more examples. And one example here, number five. She, she didn't, porque es not, ¿ve? she didn't jump, she didn't jump when playing jump rope, okay? She didn't jump when playing rope, jump rope, sorry, okay? So this is the way we, we, we say negative, negative sentences in the past. La forma en que decimos oraciones negativas en el pasado. Okay, now let's go to the production part. Here is where you have to write. Aquí donde tienes que escribir, okay? Tienes que escribir oraciones. But how do we do that? ¿Cómo hacemos eso? Yes, how do we write sentences? Here we have another example. Production. Write a paragraph. Write a paragraph. But let's watch a video in YouTube before we do this exercise. Vamos a ver un short video in YouTube, okay? No lo vamos a poner todo. Let's watch a short video in YouTube. Okay, now that we're seeing the video, pay attention to the parts in red, okay? Pay attention to the parts in red. Hay partes que están en rojo. Pay attention to those parts in red when you see the video, okay? Those are verbs in the past, either regular or irregular. I had a wonderful time this weekend, too. We went to visit our grandparents on Saturday morning. We traveled by train. Attention here. We went to the lake. Yes, we went to the lake, okay? The sentence is in past. Let's continue watching the video. He taught me cool stuff about fishing, and I tried to do everything he said. So did you catch any fish? Yes, we did. We caught a lot of fish. I was so excited. We took the fish home, and later we had grilled fish for dinner. It was such a delicious meal. I was really sad yesterday when I had to say goodbye to my grandparents. Okay, that was the video. That's just part of the video, okay? You can watch the video in, in the guide, in la guía. There is a link, hay un link en la guía, so that you can watch the complete video here. There's a link in the guide so that you can watch the complete video, okay? This is the, the link, aquí está el link, so that you can watch the complete video, para que veas el video completo. But we need to focus on how to write sentences in the past. Cómo escribir sentences in the past, okay? Here is the tutorial, how to write a sentence in the past. First, the subject or the pronoun, yes? The subject can be I, you, he, she, it, my mom, my sister, my father, my friends, yes? First, the subject, el sujeto, yes? Or the pronoun. Then, verb in the past, el verbo en el pasado, yes? For example, I've, the subject, lived, okay? I lived in Carasucia when I was a child. Another example. The subject, el sujeto. My friends and I, mis amigos y yo, ahora the verb in the past, el verbo en el pasado. Played. My friends and I played with dolls. Yes? First, primero. <coughs> first, primero, the subject, el sujeto. Then, the verb in the past. And finally, the rest of the sentence. El resto de la oración. Yes? The rest of the sentence. Remember, the subject, the verb in the past, and then the rest of the sentence. Okay? Now, let's see the guide, la guía. Yes? ¿Qué recuerdos tienes sobre tu infancia? Escribe un párrafo similar al del ejemplo que te presentamos a continuación. Okay? Escribe un párrafo. Okay? This one is the paragraph that you will write. Este es el párrafo que vas a escribir. This is the paragraph that you will write. Similar to this one. With your information. Okay? Change the information. You can use uh, this system or these formats 
to write sentences in the past. Puedes utilizar este format to write sentences in the past. For example, <clears throat> I lived in Carasucia when I was a child. I studied at, recuerda eso, lo vimos en unidad 1. I studied at José Antonio Salaverría School. I remember my friends and I played with marbles, played with dolls, played with trompo. Yes, you change the information, okay? Change the information so that is your information, okay? Okay, guys, this is all for today. If you have any questions, you can send me a personal WhatsApp, okay? So, thank you. Bye.